True calling in life is a dream for the young, but a dream nonetheless. How about you, Reiji? I really don't know a whole lot about you, actually. Nobody wants to hear about me. Oh no, Ray Ray, I'm afraid we do. What say you dredge up those old memories and tell us all about yourself, hmm? Yeah, I want to hear this. <laughs> You'll be bored. Don't say I didn't warn you. I'm Reiji Shinomiya, a youthful and vibrant 28-year-old. Ugh, I'm already bored. You're already rude. Shut the hell up. I like booze, hate things with no taste, and I've already left all my dreams behind. Ugh, I'm really bored. You're gonna be really crippled if you don't shut your yap. As I recall, your dream used to be using delusions to make people happy, no? A long, long time ago. Can't rightly call that a dream anymore. Guess I do have another delusion in me, though. Oh? What's that? I want to uncover and get my hands on every last one of the junk parts sleeping within Akiba. Oh, cool. So you can build me a PC then, right? Yeah, eventually. Once I've gotten around to building PCs for literally every other person on the planet besides you. What's wrong, Asahi? Huh? Oh, sorry. I was just... thinking. Lost in some stupid delusion, I bet. Yeah, maybe. Well, it is your turn, Asahi. Asahi Tachibana, 19. As you know, I'm basically just your everyday meat. My hobby is sleeping, and the things I hate most are studying and work. I have no goals or ambitions. I just exist. I've never really sought out much of a future for myself. I just let time pass me by. But it's not just my future that's gone by the wayside. I have no plans for the present either. I'm just a wanderer. Hell, after all this time, I still haven't even been able to answer one simple question. Is it okay to destroy other people's delusions? Is it something we have to do, maybe? Asahi. I mean, look at what we've been saying. Aren't delusions just other people's dreams? If they are, then there's only one thing we can do. And what's that? Take out delusion contractor Cannon. As long as he exists, people's delusions will just continue to spread. I see. So if we stop Cannon, we won't have to force ourselves to nullify any more delusions. Stop him at the source. Regardless, should I ever lay eyes on him again, I plan on tearing him apart piece by piece. But the DAB's probably planning on taking him down, right? I don't think so. To them, Cannon's kind of convenient to have around. Hey, not bad, kid. What do you mean by that? How about we get going and see? Get going? Where? The fairy tale delusion scheme. A clue left over in there. But still, but still, which one do we go to? There are three of them, right? Crap. Does that mean I'm going to have to check out one of them by myself again? Hey! You had me providing you with valuable backup and emotional support! You're forgetting about the Bureau's warning letters. Going solo right now is a very bad idea. Phew. Thanks, Bureau. The closest of the three fairy tale delusion scapes is the one on Main Street that Reiji and I cleared out. <laughs> Look at that. You already have a plan of attack. Was that so hard? Akemi? Was this the reason you had us going around introducing ourselves? Did you know this would happen? That's a very bold theory. But haven't you heard the saying, secrets are a woman's most flattering accessory? No, no more, darling. You all have a delusion scape to explore. Off with you now. Away, away. I guess you're right. Come on, team. Let's get exploratory.
It's Satobukia. They sell figurines and character goods and all that other good stuff. Figurines and character goods, huh? What? Is there something you want from here? No, I just had a great idea. Uh-oh. Quickly, everyone. Let's get moving. Now just hold on a second. I'm not done talking yet. Listen to me. Fine. What is this great idea of yours? Let's make a mascot of me. All righty then. Off we go. Come on. Stop. Hear me out. <sighs> okay, sure, whatever. I guess I'll be the one to ask. Gee, Pinkoon, what do you mean, make a mascot of you? Just think about it. I'm adorable. If we make a mascot out of something as adorable as me, there's no way we won't wind up totally swimming in cash. We'll have enough money to open the Pink Paradise Maid Cafe in no time flat. So that's your great idea, huh? Foolproof, isn't it? Hmm, a mascot, huh? Are you talking a small plushy kind of thing? Yep, that's the idea. I suppose I could make you one. It might be a nice change of pace from my usual sewing projects. Are you two seriously considering this? Certainly. After all, if we have a mascot version of him, we can hit it as much as we want without repercussion. Yeah. Aw, Katomi, be nice. Not that I don't understand where you're coming from. Not you too, Saki. I'm just joking. But you do have a point. When your mouth is shut, you can be rather cute. You have all the makings of a decent mascot. You didn't have to say that first part, you know. So you two are actually going to do this? You're actually going to make a pinkoon plushie? It's been a while since I broke out the pattern paper. It'll be good practice and really could turn out looking cute. I have some leftover cloth and cotton we can use. Asahi, you go buy us some beads to use for the eyes. Oh, and while you're at it, would you mind picking up a chain we can hang it from, too? Huh? How did I become the errand boy here? Do you have a problem with that? Not a one. Nobody asked you. Sounds like we're doing this. We'll get started over at Violet Eden. Come join us once you have our supplies, please. You can count on us! Why me? Guess I'll get this over with. Best place to start is Radio Lakaikon, maybe? this. There's no time for self-doubt, Dingus. Time is money. Every second we waste cuts into my profits. But not to worry. Once I'm rich, I'll give you 30 yen. Don't spend it all in one place. Hey, Pinkoon, the big thing we're buying here is beads to use as eyes, right? You got it. Well, in that case... W what are you... Come here, Pinkie Poo. I gotta measure your piddly little pupils. <laughs> Hold still. This won't hurt. Much. Stop! <laughs> Time for some payback. Quit yanking my ears! Come on! Whew. That should be all the info I need. I appreciate the help, Pink Coon. I thought I was gonna die. But you didn't, and that's what counts. Now let's go buy those beads. Wait! 